Hello, welcome back to Chef Aarti Sampath's channel. And today we are making one of my favorite, favorite dishes that I grew up eating. A dish that my mommy made when I was growing up. We are making pan fried pommes frites. And we are serving this with a delicious, crispy, tender, green plantain side dish. And also we are doing a green chutney with coconut to go with our fish. Why don't we get started? Firstly, we're going to talk about how to break down a fish. As you can see, this is a beautiful pommes frites. So it's a flat fish. And obviously with any flat fish, you get four fillets on either side. Pommes frites is very native to like the Indian waters around the Arabian Sea. And it's very tender. It's got the sweet flesh. It's light and flaky and it cooks really quick. To break down my fish, firstly, I'm using a clean towel to just wipe out the excess liquid surrounding the fish. You don't want any of that slime. And then I'm using kitchen shears to just snip off the fins. When I asked my fishmonger to clean the fish, I asked her to gut the fish. So you see she's done a little slit and she's taken out all the guts. And this also keeps your fish a lot fresher. We're ready to break down our fish now. So I run my knife right down this middle like so and then I just chip away at that bone in the center. I'm also going to make a little incision here and all around the head. So now I, I clearly know I'm going to get two fillets. There we got one beautiful fillet. Literally the tip of my knife is running inside the flesh. So we're making sure we don't puncture the other side. All right, back to the last fillet. This should be fairly easy. There you go. Neat and clean. And this is a very clean uh, bone for great stock. Now that we've cleaned and cut our fish, it's time to marinate it. Since this fish is super flaky, very mellow in flavor, it does take in a lot of robust spices. So I'm juicing half a lime. I'm using some turmeric powder, coriander powder, a little bit of cumin. I'm also trying out this new salt, desert salt uh, from Rajasthan. So I'm quite excited to see how it tastes. I'm also adding some chili powder, just giving the marinade a quick mix. And then I'm adding the fish right here. Just giving it a little dip in the marinade. We don't want to marinate it too early or the lemon will start cooking the fish. If you did notice, I did not uh, remove the skin of the fish. The skin is so thin and it doesn't even feel like um, it's really there. Right before we pan fry our fish, we're doing a light crust of semolina. That semolina, when it hits the oil, gets super crunchy. I'm serving my fish with crispy tender plantains. So the best way to prep them is to cut off the top and the bottom, make a little incision through the skin and then just peel. And we're just going to dice these into half centimeter thickness. So when these cook, the edges will get nice and crispy and the center will be tender like a potato. I wanted to serve my fish with something uplifting and fresh. And that's why we're doing a coconut chutney. I used half a coconut and I've just blitzed it in a mixer. And to that, I'm adding a little squeeze of lime and some fresh curry leaves. And I'm also adding a green chili for heat. I'm adding some salt as well. And I'll add a little water to it and I'll blitz it. I'm using some cold pressed sunflower oil to fry my fish. I got my pan nice and hot and I'm going to drop down my fish. That semolina crust is creating, uh, is going to create a lot of crunch. Around two, two and a half minutes each side. That's it. That carryover cooking will cook the rest of that uh, filet. It's time to cook up our plantains. I'm using some virgin coconut oil here. And to that I'm adding my plantains. And if you want to get your plantains crispy, just let them be. At this point, I'm adding a little bit 
of Himalayan salt to season my plantains. And now we just wait for a couple of minutes. It's been roughly three minutes and I'm, I'm flipping my plantains. You can see how beautiful golden they've come out. So I want to finish them with a few spices. I'm adding some mustard seeds on one side. And to the mustard seeds, I'm adding the special spice called asafoetida or hing. I'm adding some curry leaves again. Once this gets toasted, we'll just mix all the way through and we are done. We're ready to plate all our different elements and taste them together. We have a sauce, which is the coconut chutney. We have our pan fried fish that's crispy. And we also have our creamy and little crispy plantains. So I always start with my starch. So I'm picking the most golden ones. And I'm not thinking too hard. I'm just placing them uh, irregularly. So it doesn't feel like it's mechanical. All right, now just placing a good dollop of the sauce. It is a thick, chunky sauce, so I think it will sit well underneath the fish right here. And then right on top, we'll place our fish and then some more height. So we have another piece of fish and it's also a good portion size. And just to add a little gloss, I'm going to finish it with a little bit of virgin coconut oil. I'm about to taste the fish, the moment that I've been waiting for. Oh my God, that fish is exactly how my mom made it. I can't believe I actually nailed it. It is so good. That fish tastes so fresh and all those herbs and spices that we marinated with, it's, it's just coming through. You can taste that lime, which the fish absolutely needs. The creamy, creamy plantain. Plantain is kind of difficult to cook. It tends to be dry, but I think the coconut oil really gave it that extra fat that it needed and the coconut chutney just brings it home. So much freshness, fresh coconut, fresh curry leaves, and fresh green chili for that little heat. You can't go wrong. I really, really hope you try this recipe that I grew up eating and I compiled them together. Please share the versions that you're creating on my Instagram or Facebook and see you soon. Please like and subscribe to Chef Aarti Sampath if you want to see more content like this. Thank you so much.